Yeah, trade with Sparta over there. And off you go. It's still a pretty cool animation. Like the amount of mods out there and the crazy stuff they add in. I think next up we're going to need an attack chopper. That way we can play right at the Valkyries and just like do some assaults on a few places. That might take a little time though. We're going to need some components. So a couple of quick trade ones should take care of that problem though. Ooh, rare thrombo meat. Yep, yep, yep. We'll be taking those out. I think uh, some psychic shocks will come in very handy. All right, what have you got for us? We want all your components. That's 25 of them, the two advanced components, and probably a few bits and pieces more. That's 7,000 silver worth of trading right there. To get two advanced components, a bunch of components, plasteel and uranium to help finish the uh, last of upgrades, a psychic suit pulser, animal pulser, and a shock glance. There is a few side trainers here, and I would really like to buy them, but we no, no. We are focusing on getting our zombies up and running. Uh, I also checked. I don't have any of the other things we're looking for. Oh, damn it. One second. Let's grab some fuel while we're here as well. Uh, 100 fuel. Except. And then we can refuel while we're right here. And we'll pop over there. I'm pretty sure there was some pieces over here that we didn't collect last time. So we might as well stop by on our way home. Then we can start traveling abroad. Like, you begin to realize you can do a lot with this. Especially if we could make friends with a couple of other factions. Being pirates is probably making this a little bit trickier than it needs to be, though. A uh, quick grab of a nuclear stomach, a psychic insanity lance, plasteel, and we're broke again. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly we go broke doing this, isn't it? Alright, let's uh, launch ourselves back home and pick a landing spot. Zoom in to choose one. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, grand, grand, grand. Nope, nope, nope. Right about there. This makes travelling go so much faster. Again, totally broken, but totally worth it. Clear the runway! Incoming! Eh, uh, perfect. Uh, cargo. Let's drop it all off. All of it. Done. Now, and that will be a yum. And another yum. Oh, oh nope, nope, nope. Turn that off. And... Oh, let's you get away. Actually, we'll grab this guy first. Chief, go over there. And... And the last one. Done. Right. Now, I have been advised, if there is no actual damage to the thrombos themselves, you get way more out of them. So if there's even a tiny little bit of damage, it's bad. So your best bet is namely to heal them up because they heal so quick. Ugh. But that one might get up again. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? There's three thrombos. We don't care. We've got three perfect thrombos and one wounded one. Sorry, I know this is uh, inefficient, but I'm just... I can't care enough because we have so many of them right now. Okay, Draco, we've got all of the stuff we need for you right now. You are going straight into Barrage War Casket. Perfect. We'll give you the whole nine yards. You can mix and match the shoulder pads and stuff. Some of them do different things. For example, we have Aerial War Casket. If you click on the info here, it tells you that it's got a jump range of plus 25. So this is basically a jump jet pack war casket. It's a recon war casket. Less sharp armor protection, less blunt, but if you could then go and stick on the shoulder pads related to that, it actually gives you bonuses related to the jumps. So it gives you, was it, power jump range of plus 5 and power jump flight speed of 150%. So normally, from what I can tell, you're better off doing things all combined together. This one here gives a power jump range of plus 10 if you get the helmet. So the helmet, the shoulder pads, and the armor frame usually all work together. So some people like to mix and match. Personally, I just... Well, I just want lots of armor. Our guys are going to be standing there and just laying down wads of firepower. They're basically tanks. That's what we're going with. Now, there is a whole extra tree down here of increasingly OP ones called Spacer War Caskets. The problem with these is they all come with one big minus. Minus 50% psychic sensitivity for the, uh, the War Casket torso. And then minus 50 psychic sensitivity for the helmet. Basically, it completely makes you psychically unsensitive wearing them at all. Just, no, you're done. Wearing one of them, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Our guys are going to be, you know, war, thrall, magic users, whatever. Oh, though, I've just discovered thralls cannot use rings. Yeah, turns out people in thralls don't have fingers, so they can't wear psi rings. Bit of a problem. Bit of a problem. However, uh, Draco here needs their upgrade. So, you... Barrage. 
Barrage and barrage. So done. Yeah, 11 components. Perfect. 360 steel. We got it. 75 plasteel. We got it. And 50 uranium. We got it. We shall apply that immediately. Upgrades, buddy. Uh, all of their old stuff just gets turned into slag chunk. That's it. Like, their whole old war casket, it doesn't get recycled or anything. You lose it. So if you're upgrading someone's war casket, be aware it's an expensive process. You can't get any of the resources you put into a war casket back. So that's why I held out to get uh, Willy and Catgirl into proper gear. Just to make sure that we'd never have to change them again. I mean, 200% armor sharp? That is just ridiculous. Hey, 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 Draco. Draco. Come back here, buddy. What in that jump jet pack? Your jump jet pack uh, war cask. Who can... And you've also got Power Leap because of your Psy abilities. Ah, amazing. Now, we do need to queue up a little bit of an operation on you, though. Nuclear Stomach. Namely because they don't need anything but that. Uh, let me rephrase. I don't like putting Nuclear Stomachs on our normal pawns. Why is Tyler even in here? Oh, Psychic Coma. Yeah, I got them to do, I got them to do some research, which would actually unlock... Artificial metabolism. I got them to research basically a re reprocessor stomach we bought ages ago, and this unlocked artificial metabolism, which gives us access to building nuclear stomachs. And if you'll notice, we've got a minus one of one, which means we somehow managed to research this without having the prerequisite whatever healing factor tech. Whatever. It's broken. Um, but yes, we're going to give Draco a nuclear stomach because this means they only have to eat once every two days. Now, you don't want that normally with your pawns. You want your pawns to come back to your... Lovely, very impressive dining room and gave the mood bonus. And you also want them to eat the food so they gain the mood bonus of eating the fine meal. This is like a plus 10, plus 11, or maybe a plus 12 point swing. Let's just check out the Muppet here. Eight a fine meal is plus five. Very impressive rec room, plus five. Very impressive dining room, plus five. They get plus 10 points for the rec room, for eating in the, the dining room and the meal. That plus 10 mood, we don't need it for Draco. They've got 100 mood as a thrall, so we're just going to give them a nuclear stomach. They only need to come back here once every two days. The other rest of the two days, they can just spend out here. Hugging a tree. All day, every day. Occasionally, though, the nuclear stomach has a bit of a side effect. Gives you stomach cancer, or torso cancer. The best thing is, traders come by and we can just donate the cancer to them. Meaning Draco doesn't care. It's it's win-win situations here. This is just... Ugh. Yep. Yep, now we just got to make a bunch more nuclear stomachs so that we can... Oh, and I need to get two more recruits with good shooting skill. And now it's Catgirl's turn to finally link up with the tree. And uh, that is... perfect. Uh, once this is done, we need to go out and acquire two new fresh thralls. Basically, a couple of level 11 shooting villagers. Uh, Draco's already down to 10. Willie's holding on at 11 and will be for a while longer. They have a lot of points in it. And Catgirl, how are you doing? Yeah. Still at 5,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll keep most of them at 11, I'd say. We're going to try another conversion ritual on Zoe and see how it works out. Uh, hopefully at some point she will be converted. Actually, wait. First, we'll do the, uh, where is it? We'll just do the regular convert. That will only knock off about 68 percentage points, though. Oh, yeah, that's just... That is just bad. That is really bad. Then, we'll do the conversion ritual. And hopefully this will... At least bring her a little bit over to our side. All right, Zoe, what say you to joining our, us? You know we're the winning side, right? Also, you're going to be our best sidecaster, namely because that psychically hypersensitive trait. Yeah, we need it. We need it desperately for a few of the really high-end spells. And you just fit the bill. So just convert already before we have to... Mm, I wish there was a way to beat it out of them. Effective conversion ritual. Oh my god, down to 16%. We're just going to have to keep hammering her. A few more converts should keep her just barely from... Like, the thing is, she's happy enough that she's gaining back her faith at about 3% per day. We need to probably make her more unhappy. Uh, so that means in three days' time, we can do another conversion on them, which should knock off about 8 or 9%, so we can just about keep them from converting. Maybe with a few... Or from gaining back more than they lose. Assuming we have a few chats with them. Eh, uh, Inspire Taming Jason. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, next up, we need to go and acquire two more tribals. I also totally forgot to convert Catgirl Diogenes to a shooting specialist. So, welcome to- oh my god. <laughs> I love the way that all of the tribals have just formed this little click. It's like, yes, we are the murderers of the group. We go do the killing. But they're just this giant ball of- ugh. Well, anyway. Uh, once they're done, we'll take a few of them and go clear out some of the surroundings. We've got... Ooh, 
at least 20 tribals there and 24 tribals there. I think we send out, uh, I think we send out the team. Chief Multi-Hat, Draco, Willie, Catgirl, and say one other with a shock lance. And that should take care of any problems we encounter along the way. And Diogenes, how you doing? Successful role change. Now you're a shooting specialist as well. Excellent. Ooh. I was about to just be like, that's annoying. I was about to go raiding. And then I'm thinking, actually, that's probably a good thing. I, I didn't go raiding. Uh, oh, Scythers. And more Scythers. So it's lots of Scythers. Right, uh, we need to get everyone back inside. They will prepare for a while now. Right, if you're going to prepare for a while, that is fine. Hmm. That means we just need to stay inside, and you'll have to come through this area. Worst case scenario, we'll pull you back to here. We should probably beef that up a bit. Uh, we shall put you at no. And you shall also go at no and no. Do you want anyone going near that? Uh, you should all return home. And then we can just set up, say, here. And I'm going to try gutting them down as they charge at us. Assuming Draco, Willie, and Catgirl are up for it. In fact, let's get another charge lance going while we're waiting. I don't think we'll have time. Uh, I think we can afford 100 plasteel. Check. I want to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got the 100 plasteel. And four advanced components. That'll leave us with only three left. Yeah. Yeah, I'm willing to start that now. All right, uh, oop. You need to get back here immediately, and I need to make sure everyone's inside. Like, everyone. No one's going outside anymore. Okay, they're starting up. They're starting up. Time to grab everyone. And time to pull them all out here. Uh, except for Tyler. Tyler, go grab a machine gun first. Tyler keeps getting knocked unconscious because they do a lot of research in our service. Equip service rifle, and because of that, they keep ending up getting knocked unconscious because their research requires them to get knocked unconscious. All right, is everyone moving? All right, get going. Oof, you guys are pretty slow. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. You'll get out there in time. Probably. Everyone else, line up. This might be a bit risky. Actually, no, pull them back a little bit. We're probably going to have to run back. I don't think we can take them as fast as we would like or shoot that quickly, but, and again, maybe we can. Okay, oop, 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 oop. All right, Willie, uh, we want you to have controlled frenzy. Uh, Draco, also control frenzy. Chief Multi-Hat, you are not part of that party just yet. Uh, then we want you to have firing focus. And then we also want you to have firing focus. Uh, yep, that's a bunch of stuff. Marksman command from Catgirl. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you need to go into siege mode as well. And then... Yeah, I think you are good. You are good. You are good. Chief multi-hat. Yeah, well, chief multi-hat. And that is insane. The rate they fire at is just ludicrous. All right, then. Now let's make sure we can kill them fast enough. What are they called? There was 75 of them on the map. We've already killed five. Now we need to make sure the rest of them don't get too close, or we need to run away. Wow, that's an incredible amount of firepower. Okay, okay just uh, double check it to make sure all of these things are staying on them. Uh, frenzy, fire focus... Yeah, fire focus is up and running, and as well as that, every time they hit something, it reduces their neural heat. So that should mean... Hey, you got control frenzy on? Firing focus, siege mode, psychic frenzy. Yeah, yeah, all that st good stuff is in place. Uh, you need to target that one. Uh, the rest of you need to move back just a tad. Uh, ooh. Yeah, you target that. You target that. Oh my god. Uh, you target that one. Briss, what kind of spells you got that can help us out? You know what? Just do a haywire right about there. Mega Sloth Revenge. Okay. Well, whoops. Sorry about that one. Uh, check. you have skipped, do you not? Excellent. Well, they need to get skipped back to a less dangerous position. Um, they need to get skipped back to a less dangerous position as well. 
Draco, uh, how are you looking? You've got all your stuff going on. Siege yeah, yeah, you know what? Hit that one. And then hit that one. Chief Multi-Hat, I want you to hit that one. And then I want you to hit that one. And I think we need someone up front to tank, do we? Mm. Maybe. Just a few more haywires. Like, if we put haywires on, it slows them down enough. Yeah, I'm liking that. That works a lot better. Chief Multi-Hat, Draco, you've got your shotguns up and running. Just start pounding in the ones that are getting too close. And how did I miss that one? Like, you just, you slipped through. You slipped through the net, but it's fine. We got you. We'll skip you all the way back there. <laughs> all you can hear is just ching 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 Okay, you shoot over there. How's everyone doing? Okay, your marksmanship command is up on you. You've got Psychic Frenzy and Firing Focus, but they're about to wear off. Like, the Firing Focus is the one that bothers me. That only lasts for 10 seconds. So you got 10 seconds left for both of them. However, yeah, you can see... Oh, Guided Shot! Yeah, you need Guided Shot. And you also need Guided Shot. And... My God, did you just see that? Um, right. What's not on? Okay, you got Psychic Frenzy Siege Mode. Uh, we'll give you Guided Shot for double the range. That's perfect. Only lasts 10 seconds. Don't care. That is amazing. Uh, you, Guided Shot, go for it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously? Well. That is, um, I think we're almost ready for the void. There's a few things I've got to take care of, but we're definitely, definitely getting close to void capable. A few cuts and bruises here, so we're not perfect, but dear God, that was beautiful. 75. Good job. Good job, everyone. Uh, back inside... We'll get you some medical attention. Jesus. What would be even better is if we had five people fully equipped, ready to go, and just ten seconds of them firing flat out like that would kill everything, I think. Anyway, grab some snacks, get some medical attention. Uh, we'll, we'll get you on a raid tomorrow morning so we can fight the ranks. Oh, and hopefully this volcanic winter will go away. 26 days. I believe the expression you're looking for is, why? Why 26 days? Just stop already. Looks like we're not going on a raid today. Turns out uh, the carry capacity of our thralls is negative. So we need to build a vehicle so we can then go traveling around. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to get the plane loaded up with drugs and go on a buying spree. Actually, no. We are going to bribe the piggies over here into liking us. We're going to throw them a bunch of drugs. They're going to... Uh, why do I have something in this? Oh, I think I was testing the... Oh, yeah, I was testing this and I stuck a simple meal in it. That is still good? Yeah. I suppose you can preserve things in there forever. Hey, anyway, we'll cancel the load on that. We're going to stick in a bunch of drugs and we're going to buy happiness from the pig people. If memory serves, 100 flake is worth about 17 mood. So, yeah, there we go. That should be just about enough. Take all those drugs. It'll make you all nice and happy with us. And, yeah, enemy now neutral. Perfect. Let's get our trade on. We need more components. We're going to need those components to buy all the necessary parts to make a helicopter that we can then use to go raiding. One thing about this plane on takeoff and landing is it's a pain in the butt. Uh, let's see. We have to get it all the way to the end of the runway. Yeah, you're there. there. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Otherwise, if we don't do that, we can't take off. We can't actually take off this direction because, well, there's stuff in the way. But then we have to turn around. But you need that extra chunk of space because, ah, they're right there. You see, it takes you one tile to turn around. Now, you can use the handbrake to mess things up, but that'll damage your tires or something. So in testing, this is what I found was the only way to do it, was have a, a runway that's one tile longer and then do a bit of mucking about. If you make it two or three tiles longer, you could probably make it a lot easier on yourself. Right, let's pop over here. Uh, let's trade with, yeah, the piggies. And away we go. I really do like that plane mod. It just, it adds a certain something. I don't know what it is, but I do like it. All right, let's hope they've got... Just a... Lynx hunting Jason Fenwick. Okay, that seems a bit odd. Okay, there they are. Where's Jason? Right. Well, this is going to be awkwardly timed. Uh, I think they're good. Might well take care of this first. 
please have some good stuff for us. We want, well, we're going to want a bunch of components so we can build the helicopter we're looking for. A not perfect shopping spree, but we did get a bunch of components, a car transmission, a couple of engine blocks, a gene pack, and some advanced components, all for, well, every single scrap of flake we have. Uh, i got to take care of Jason here in a second, but you need to fly home immediately. Uh, oh, actually, no. Launch home immediately. And we'll land you over there. Nope. Land you right there. And then we need to take care of this. Hmm. You're in an awkward position. Idris, how about you come out here and give a hand? In fact, let's grab Muppet as well. It's uh, just... I still dislike animals causing issues, and most of our heavy hitters are way over there at the moment. I'm also going to call over Wojciech, just in case. Uh, just the moment they stop, because they will stop to shoot, they should be set to uh, aggressive. Oh, Wojciech over here as well. Yeah, I think we got this. I overprepared a time. Guys, are you going to shoot? Yeah, I'm sure it's decided to go Manhunter or whatever, but uh, our, we had already decided to go Lynx Hunter before that. All right then, everyone back to work. That was far less painful than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, someone hunt that down. We'll throw it in the fridge. One other thing I want to take care of is Idris Smith here. Uh, the religion, which it's going to be a while before we break them from it, demands a bunch of stuff. One of the things they're definitely demanding is a neural supercharge, which is a minus six. So we've actually researched it and we're going to give them a neural supercharger. Uh, this, unfortunately, costs 400 watts of power. That's kind of expensive. So, for power-wise, we're going to go with the really good stuff. And by the really good stuff, I mean the toxic stuff. So we're going to stick in a Toxify generator right there. This is going to serve twofold interests. One, it's going to give us power. And two, it's going to give us toxic waste. We can then throw that toxic waste at tribals so that they come and attack us so that we can kill them and then use their bodies to give us more mana. So, you know, twofold problem solving. We get power and we also get to annoy some locals that'll give us more power for our Psycasters. Looks like the helicopter's going to have to wait. I'd messed up on that as well. Uh, turns out we needed, for the car suspensions, we needed silver and I sort of sold all of our silver for components, which I thought we needed to make the helicopter. It's fine. It's fine. We've got more drugs already and there's more on the way. Once we uh, process that stuff, we'll go on another flight. We'll grab some silver to go with it. Right now, though, we do need to deal with this mech hive that is attacking. Uh, where are you landing? They are going to prepare for a while and attack. I installed a threat points use thing so I can see when we start to max out our threat points. That way we can uh, force maximum 10,000 points. Yes, so... Oh, we might actually want to start installing the unlimited threat mod. Oh. Oh, three different blobs. Well, that's great. Okay, they've got to be scythers, right? Look at the size of them. Milters, maybe? They can't all be scythers, right? That would just be... An incredible amount. There's over 200 job pods there. Yeah, it's Milters. Okay, then. To bring everyone back inside, make sure no one leaves. Uh, the usual. Right, we're just about in range. And I know that doesn't look like we're in range, but you gotta remember, some of these things are not very human. They're zombies, so they're a little bit weird that way. And since these guys are not close combat, let's actually get everyone in the heavy armor up the front. Uh, yeah, everyone's starting to target. Catgirl, uh, Marksmanship Command. Willie, uh, Controlled Frenzy. Yep, Draco, Controlled Frenzy. And let's start the... Then you want to do Firing Focus. You want to do Firing Focus. Uh, Siege Mode. Siege Mode. Uh, Siege Mode. Perfect. Um... Then, what was the last one? Ah, yes, we want to do Guided Shot. Unfortunately, we need to wait until you drop some more uh, Neural Heat. Well, yep, that's uh, fine. Guided Shot for you. Uh, guided Shot for you. Yep, this is totally broken. Anyway... That means their Firing Frenzy will never give up, because their Firing Frenzy gets uh, refreshed every time they shoot something. That doubles their damage. Uh, firing Focus, however, that increases our ranged attack speed by 500%. This is incredibly important. Basically, massively increases their damage output. And Guided Shot, that means we always hit. Uh, insane accuracy. Uh, where is Chris? Oof. Kind of tempted to get Chris into a few things here. It's just, there is another ability to make people hit all the time. And uh, that means we wouldn't have to use Guided Shot so much. However, 
guided shot's pretty cool because it doubles the the range. So after a while, that becomes less important as the enemies start to charge towards you. Uh, not going to worry about it too much. Okay, so firing focus is about to, is still good. Yeah, that seems to be working. Ooh. That, um... That worked out. That worked out pretty good. Uh, down here, please. Damn. Like, that was just a slaughter. Well, for our next group, we are going to stay well outside of range, and then we're going to start having everyone fire up. And by fire up, I mean guided shot for you, and Willie, you also get guided shot. They're the only two that are just about in range, and there they are. This allows them to... Now, you see they're, they're firing really slowly. That's because they don't have firing focus on. We need a little bit more neural heat to allow them to do all the spells simultaneously. But then once fire focusing is on, yeah, they literally just open up like that. However, guided shot has already run out, so we got to cast guided shot again. And then there we go. Easy peasy. Absolute slaughterage. And now they're going to start coming forward into range. Uh, guided shot or firing focus? Which one do we need now? Oh, a little bit of both. I think firing focus. Thing is, they're about to run in range, so we don't need to worry about... And... Yoink, 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 yoink. Their accuracy is not perfect, but who cares when their damage is so high it basically incinerates everything. Oof. And combined with a little bit of fire support from our other people, and that is that. Where are these guys going? What are you going to attack? There's no one out there. We don't have any animals. Huh. Weird. I would have thought they would have come around this way. Okay, looks like we're going back home. The extreme range of the weapons we have access to is why our killbox walls are sort of extending out. What I kind of want to do is have a big log tunnel so that the enemies have to start over here and then we just get to riddle them with plasma fire or charge lance fire the whole way through as they slowly walk through the killbox. Uh... So right now, we're just going to have to deal with a bunch of these. I really thought this was going to be a lot more difficult. Normally, these guys are a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with because there's so many of them. But with this group, you don't have to worry. Now, uh, give me another controlled frenzy from you. And uh, Willie, we're also going to want a controlled frenzy from you. Yeah, both of those have worn off. And give me a firing focus. And give me another firing focus. Dear. God. Like, it's just a slaughter. And I get it, because they're firing shots that do basically 100 damage a hit, so it doesn't really matter where they hit. Whatever they hit is gone. Ooh, they are getting an awful lot closer than I would like. We have been using some of the other abilities. Uh, okay. Well, no, firing focus is still up on both of you guys. Wojciech is just up there tanking shots like a boss. Guys, shoot the closer ones, would you? Well, the cleanup on this is going to be an absolute nightmare. There's 275 milter corpses. It's not even... Uh, is it worth even scrapping those? I kind of want to just go around with grenades and destroy them. Joy of joys, they actually dropped 27 components over here. Uh, what did those other corpse piles drop? Maybe they left us some plasteel or something to go with that. No, unfortunately, it was just these one gifts of components. All the rest of the stuff is junk. I think I'll... Recycle these ones, but all the ones, ugh, like these ones are too far away. It's not even worth carrying them back for recycling. We'll just let nature take its course with them. For our next stop, we're going to try this village way over here. Uh, yeah, we're going to trade with these guys. Thing is, we can do this because we can afford the fuel. It's not really a big cost. And the more places we hit up, the more chances we find some fun stuff we'd really like to get our hands on. All right, what have you got going on? Uh, resurrect. Ooh, Necropath Resurrect. That's actually not too terrible. Corpse talk? Uh, no, I think we're good on those ones. Quick trade for silver components and advanced components. I still am tempted by these side traders, but uh, I don't think we can. I don't think we can afford them. Hmm. Ooh, actually, I might take that psychic suit pulser. That could come in useful at some point in the future. And we don't need that much silver for what we have planned anyway. You head back here. Uh, we'll land you down and get on with our day. We have just about knocked out all the parts. Time to build a helicopter. 
This is going to make raiding so much handier. Uh, I'm going to stick you in here so that we can wall you in. Yeah, we don't have enough of those uh, suspensions in storage just yet, but we'll have one more car suspension shortly. Then the helicopter will be complete. And I think we're probably going to wall it in a bit just to prevent any drop pods landing on top of it. I've lost too many nice things to drop pods. I'm a bit paranoid about them at this point. Since Zoe is going to be our number one mega caster, uh, we have been pumping all of their points into focus types. They literally have access to, what, uh, one consumed body spell? Is that because of their gear? Oh no, we actually gave them a trainer for that one. But they now have access to natural focus, morbid, minimal, flame, uh, artistic, science, group. The more people are meditating, with the better. And the final one is arco technology, which is a bit of a weird one. Uh, it means that they get a bonus if they're near arco technology when they're studying or meditating or whatever it is. So what are they up to now? They're up to 202%. Does that change if we move them a little bit closer to that arco tech? I don't think it does. I think 202 is what they're going to be at, though. Yeah, 202% is their maximum, but still, that is... It's a lot of gain. They should become a pretty high-level caster fairly quickly that way. And there's some other stuff we're going to chuck on top of that. We're just so close to finishing the helicopter and we got hit by a toxic fallout. We've also got a psychic drone high and... I just don't feel like dealing with these. Nope, nope, just do not feel like dealing with these at all. And since we can just skip them, we might as well. So we're going to do a season time skip. Uh, it cost us a bunch of psi levels on Chris over here. Sorry about this, Chris, but it's okay. Uh, you are going to take a nap, but first you're going to do a season time, time skip. Locks the entire planet into a seasonally long, season long psychically induced slowdown, effectively skipping forward a season. Night instantaneous effect, very strenuous. Basically, we managed to skip 15 days, do we? It's the 13th of April, May. You know what? Who cares? As long as it gets rid of the toxic fallout, the psychic drone high going away would also be a nice bonus. I uh, fit. Pretty sure this worked. I did some testing a while back when I was first using the game, and this should skip... Well, get rid of everything. And... Whoa. That strobe effect is the sun going up and down. Is there someone in there? No, no. Okay. So... Finished? Toxic fallout is done? Mosquito? Oh, this is the helicopter. Huh. I figure we go, like, old-school classic airwolf. It's gotta be, like, if you've got a helicopter and you want to go old-school, you gotta call it airwolf. It's the only way to do I mean, it's not exactly a fighting helicopter, but it's it's pretty cool looking. Anyway, once we get that filled up... Ooh, am I gonna have to move that? I really hope it doesn't have some sort of radius that we need to have it free so that it can take off. That would actually be really awkward. Uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. For now, how's Chris doing? You were unconscious for 23 hours, but you got rid of the toxic fallout, and you also got rid of that high psychic drone, so... Good job. We've had to spend all your psi points, but that's okay, we got other people with free ones. Wojciech has got 12 free points, or is it 11 free points. Uh, Tyler has... well, okay, only four. We're not spending all of those because there's a few things we'd like to get done first. And uh, hopefully a few trainers we can find for our zombie thralls. And we are loaded. We have Willy, Draco, Catgirl Diogenes, and Riza. The reason we're sending Riza, uh, they have medical and intele intellectual, which means they can hack stuff. We are going to pop right over here to this ancient complex. Fuel costs one. Land in ancient complex and choose landing spot. Uh, land at edge of map or landing... Yeah, we will choose the landing spot. And Airwolf is a... Okay, we're away. For a second there, I thought I'd bugged it out somehow. Never mind. We're done. We're done. Off you go. It's going to be a lot slower than the airplane, I imagine. Well, not too much slower. Downside of this over the airplane, it can only carry 100 kilos. Excluding, of course, the fact that it's carrying several hundred kilos of uh, mechanoid in there, or uh, zombie thralls encased in, 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 in armor. Where are you? I should have a chance to choose that. I somehow messed that up. Okay, that's a little bit close. But it should be fine. All right, everybody out. Come on. Perfect. Uh, I think some of them are grabbing meals. Are you? Yeah, perfectly fine. What are you doing? Off to meditate at... Right. I keep forgetting these guys are all set up to meditate. Well, uh, we will... suppose go straight through the walls. We'll start off down here. Uh, actually, no. We'll start off over here. 
And we need to make sure Riza stays at the back. They're the least well defended. Everyone else is, well, pretty tough, to be honest. They don't really have to care too much. Uh, you guys, would you also like to... Nope, nope. Shoot the walls. Thank you. Well, that was incredibly quick. Done. Now, this is an old complex, so it should be very easy to take care of. We have hermetically sealed crate. Go open that. You two go there. Okay, medical packs. Cool. Hack to drop supplies. Ancient supply satellite has been activated and will drop supplies. We get cloth we don't care about. Like I said, this is an old ancient complex, so it's done when we had very low difficulty. Not going to worry too much about this. This is more just a test bed for the helicopter assault route. Now, we could open the door. These, they, these don't seem like the type of zombies that do that. Um, huh. There's a fire thingy over there. I wonder how resistant it is to getting shot and instantly... Will it instantly explode if we shoot it? Probably, but let's try. Yep, instantly explodes. Well, awkward. Can these guys put out fires? Cool. Zombie firefighters. What do you mean an... In an unstable ancient fuel node has been ignited is going to explode. No. No, I think it's already exploded. Uh. <laughs> Fine. We'll just uh, give it a second for this fire to burn out, and then we'll move on. There is another one of those ancient caskets. Let's open it up hermetically sealed. And chem fuel. Great. We can refuel the helicopter. Thing is, I'm not sure how much we can take with us. Well, we can take 100 kilos. It's just I don't think we really have a lot of carry capacity. Well, that took longer than it should have, but never mind. Open the next door. Knock, knock. Area revealed. Okay. Contains an ancient hostile mechanoid. That... Uh, not really that concerned, to be honest. Hey, boys. Get in there. Shoot it dead. And it's done. Fair enough. This wasn't, I knew this wasn't going to be hard, but this just seemed just a tiny scooch, okay? Oh, great, another unstable power cell. Ancient and was disturbed and might explode soon. Okay, ticking hasn't started. You, I want you to pick up Plasteel. Pick up Plasteel all. One. Excellent. And let's get back on the helicopter and get out of here. This was reasonably okay, successfully wise. I mean, okay, we got a bunch of cloth over there we don't care about, but we'll worry about that at another time. Alright, everyone get back on board, Airwolf, let's go home. And that's dust off. I really hope people can't shoot you while you're trying to fly away, that would make things really awkward. Downside, we can only take 100 kilos of stuff with us, and only one person can carry the stuff onto the helicopter. But, plus side, we can fly four people, pretty long distances, and take out, well, it's like an attack squad. Uh, landing bay is going to have to be expanded, we have to land them over here, but we'll figure something out. And yes, everyone wants to clear the landing spot. I presume if you get caught in it, you might get deleted, maybe, or squished by the building? Eh, we'll see. And you missed the goat. Good job. Good job. Let's see if everyone gets out automatically. Yes, they do. Gear-wise, well, we didn't take any cargo. Everyone's got what they brought with them. You'll see Riza there has got a bunch of plasteel and medicine. Let's see if they drop that stuff off if they're going to keep it on them. Ooh, fun times. The Red Imperium has shown up for a siege. Excellent. Now, do any of you come with Psy levels? We would really like if a bunch of you had Psy cast abilities. That would make this so much better. Oh, there's 51 of you. After going through the lot of them, there's two level one Psy link people. All the rest are, well, who cares? So, kill them? Kill them all, I suppose, is the best bet. Uh, bring the team back in. They're going to be setting up for a siege, so we're just going to plink away at range and kill most of them before they can even get in range. I'm... I'm no, I'm not going to feel sorry for them. Not even a little bit. This is what mods do. They unfortunately make some of these things just a little bit less difficult. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of something about the difficulty, at least to make it slightly more entertaining. Otherwise, we may get bored to death. Uh, storyteller settings. Uh, yeah, we weren't custom. Damn it, did I not install that mod yet? Quick install. Unlimited threat scaling. Normally, your points cap out at 10,000 for a seed. Well, for anything, there are multipliers that can affect that. But generally, it kind of caps everything out at 10,000 points. So we'll just throw on, uh, yeah, an extra 5,000. So 50% larger raids are possible. And let's make the threat scale 
just to add a little spice to the playthrough as we wait. It's just there's a few more bits and pieces we got to we have to get together to get all the full combos in play, and we might as well, you know, get to use them a bit while we're waiting. So you guys, uh, come all down here. Well, the enemy have set up just about here. They're starting to put their production together. We've brought our our three heavy hitters right here. They've got Wojciech and Tyler behind them for sidecast support. Now, we are going to do a few things all at once. The first thing is probably going to be Controlled Frenzy for the lot of them. And does that actually affect all of them if I just did Control Frenzy here? Two of them are casting. Yep, perfect. Then... That is exactly what we wanted. Now, Firing Focus means... Yeah, reduces the range attack cooldown. That is grand. That is perfect. Then we put them in Siege Mode. And they're firing. So, who do we want them to target is the question, though. Now, I think we'll have uh, three different target profiles. We're going to have... Th oh, damn it. I want you to target that guy. Nope. Can't actually hit him, can you? Huh. Okay, you can target that one with a triple rocket launcher. I've marked a few targets of interest because, well, it seems like a smart plan to pick out ones that we'd like dead quickly. Um, that's two marked, and a third one should be, ooh, I don't know, say you, you're out in the open. And then, perfect. Yeah, let's see, what else we got? How is that guy still alive? You, you should be dead already, you got targeted, buddy. There is no way you should be still capable of doing anything. Oh, never mind, you're still targeted, you'll be dead in a minute. Next up, oh, minigun guy's gotta go. Uh, you can target Plasma Guy. Okay, done and done. That person there with that triple rocket launcher needs to get targeted. It's just, it's weird that you get to just pick out targets and go delete, delete, delete. And we're going to be leaving a bunch of the uh, more mobile ones or the, uh, the close combat ones. They're going to start closing with us, so we may have to run from them. Oh, dear God. Okay, anyway, you can activate your marksmanship command. Uh, you can't activate a guided shot. Cause too much neural heat. You can. Perfect. How's your fire focus look? Looking, yeah. Siege mode, psychic frenzy, neural heat is safe. Firing focus is good. Yeah, you are going to be absolutely monstrous from now on. It's going to be almost impossible to keep up with you. With your shots. Okay, so, you, who we want to target. Ooh, that's a lot of people with close combat weaponry. Well, the thing is, we want to take out the ranged ones first. Uh, then you can take out the close combat ones we can hit with a few side powers to hopefully down a couple for capture. And Draco here is now turned into Killing Machine++. Plus plus. Uh, yeah, there, 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 there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Doomsday. And that guy over there needs to be targeted when the time comes to. Perfect. Uh, I think fire at will is the order of the day for you guys. Uh, we've also got a skip and a berserk. Yeah, where's the berserk? Ah, oh, yes, psychic shock. Sorry. Skip and psychic shock. For that, we're going to use to grab a few people. Preferably people with decent armor or equipment that we would like to keep. Looking around, all the stuff we want to keep is actually cataphract armor. Uh, the stuff at the rear, so I think we'll just wait until we've broken them, and then maybe run down the cataphract people with a skipped Tyler. We skip Tyler to the front lines and get them to sh shock people as they break, of course. Um, no, you should be ready to do a guided shot now. Wait, no, firing focus or guided shot? No, you've got firing focus, so we'll give you guided shot from now on. Perfect. Someone fired something. It sounded nasty. And that guy's head is gone. Um, hopefully these guys, these guys have got good armor. They can take it. They can take it. Tyler, I want you to shock someone. We are going to skip someone in decent armor. There's no one in decent armor. This is terrible. In that case, uh, we want you to target that one. And that one. Uh, I don't know who you're targeting, but you're going to target that one. And then that one. Perfect! They've broken! Pretty much as expected. This team is... This team's just beautiful. I love these zombies. Alright, you guys. Skip forward. Uh, we want to skip you all the way to there. 
you guys need to hold fire. Sorry about that, my bad. Uh, Wojciech, you can run forward as well. Tyler, psychic shock on a few of these. What gear you got? Cataphract armor, cataphract helmet, charge rifle. That's good, but maybe there's better. Let me have a quick go see what's left on the menu. So, the plan. There's three people here we would like to capture. There is one person there we would like to capture. That gives us at least four. And if we have any more Psy-focused effort for that, there's another one left over there. So, first up, Psychic Shock on that one. Uh, Wojciech is charging forward. Uh, in that case, we can also skip... Damn it! Why can't we skip you any... Oh, the skip is entirely dependent on the caster now. That's unfortunate. Uh, skip you forward to there. Tyler. Oof. Are you going to get them all is the question. Uh, skip is still recharging on you. Is there any other targets in range we can hit with Psychic Shock? Oop, that guy over there. Perfect. Skip Tyler all the way to there. Oh, we should probably start capturing those guys. Yeah, capture that one. Uh, where's the other one gone? Capture that one. No one else is going to survive really from the manual stuff uh psychic shock excellent ineffective ah psychically immune psychically immune psychically sensitive there's another one all right what about you guys psychic sensitivity zero and psychic sensitivity zero okay well you know we got a few of them we didn't get all of them but we got enough that i'm happy clothing wise that is three sets of cataphract armor with three sets of cataphract helmets Excellent. Uh, we can actually recycle one of those helmets to research it. So we can get make more if we want. Though why, considering how easy it is to grab more? Maybe we should annoy the Empire some more. No, 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 no. I've been meaning to make friends with the Empire for a while, and we can give them back five people, which should buy us an awful lot of happiness. Um, let's just maybe get all of that stuff out of there before they start getting uppity and we have to shock them all again. I was going to keep a few of these around to just convert over to our religion for religious points. Uh, that's what I realized. No, they have apostasy horrible, which means they have a global certainty loss factor multiplied by 60%. Meaning it's it's just a lot harder to convert these guys. I'm thinking these prisoners can all be released. Well, a couple of them have developed new luciferium needs, but that's, you know, just accidental. Goodbye. Uh, when it comes to luciferium, actually, how are we looking on that front? We have... One, two, three people who are on Luciferium. Four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, you got seven or not. Eight. So we need eight more Luciferium. In fact, I'm pretty sure someone dropped some Luciferium over here. Excellent. That means we have enough Luciferium to get the whole team on board. That has taken our relations with the Empire from minus 32 to minus 20. Yes. Yes, please. That means we're going to throw oh, about 150 drugs at them and they should like us again. Oh! We finally converted the Zoe. I just chucked another convert from Bjorn there at them and it, it finally broke them. I didn't think that was going to happen. Finally. Uh, Chief multi had chatted at Bjorn tried to convert Zoe to her own ideology. Zoe is not convinced. Bjorn tried to convert Zoe and succeeded. Well, uh, that occurred four seconds ago and that occurred to... Oh, they tried to convert them by talking to them, failed, and then tried to convert them using... Never mind. It's done. Zoe is finally on our side. That just leaves one holdout, Idris. Oh, they've got Steelism, which is another annoying one. That's gonna take a while, but that's okay. That's okay, we got a little bit of time left. To make the Empire friendly with us, a uh, quick jolt of drugs. There you go, there's 150 for you. Uh, that should make them... Perfectly neutral. Excellent, Zoe's got more Psychast experience as well, which is completely expected, and we have found Steel. We've been using this to scan. We've got some steel down here, plasteel over there, more steel over there, and I'm pretty sure there was a couple other patches I missed. A quick conversion ritual for Idris. Hopefully they decide that this is the right thing for them. Come on, buddy. We still haven't got a masterful conversion yet, so, I mean, we can always hold that hope. Terrible conversion ritual. They actually got more sure in their beliefs. Well, you know, that happening now is better than it happening when we've got them halfway broken, so... Mm, it's fine. It's fine. Got to expect these things. We're also going to throw together a quick ritual here. It's just one of those happy-go-lucky ones, and hopefully it reveals a nearby ancient rune that we can go out and raid with our people. Uh, we've got three more rituals we can do of the same type at any time. Uh, that's why we've got these loudspeakers here that I've never actually used. A boring ideological celebration. Well, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's, let's try that again then. Okay, Supreme Fiesta. 
Why not? Go for it. Uh, we just sort of leave out the zombies. I figure they're off doing their own thing, so why would they bother need to get involved, involved in this? Doesn't really change this at all. We should get a leader. I just... I don't want one. Leaders are just more burdened than anything else. I wonder if you could have a zombie leader. That might be interesting. No, they don't have the option to do uh, so. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Unforgettable Supreme Fiesta. Okay, we got two development points out of it. And did we... Yep, you discovered the location of an ancient complex. Perfect. Let's load up the helicopter and go shooting. This is Airwolf 1 on takeoff. You're only Airwolf 1 because at some point we'll be able to second one so we can bring eight people along on the raids. That might be even more fun. Uh, Airwolf has arrived at their destination. Oh, okay, I think... Oh, generating map. It should give us the option to pick a landing spot unless I've messed something up. If it just lands us right in the middle again, that could be awkward. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, land at the front door or land at the back? Let's land at the back door over here, I think. We'll blast our way through the walls. Walking in through the front door does not seem like a good option. It's a bit weird the way that disappears, though. I do like the graphics. It actually kicking up dust and everything like that. Uh, you guys... Nope, 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 nope. Let's draft up. Uh, I'm going to blast through the walls over here. Riza, you're to the rear. You're too precious to be uh, risked. These other ones have far more armor plating than you ever will. Uh, okay. I think we're going to be opening two doors at once. Perfect. Yep, lots of unstable power cells. I see no reason to enter either of those rooms. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's go around the edge. Our first stop will be a hermetically sealed crate. Let's see what goodies are inside. Uh, while you're busy opening that, we get 54 uranium. Oh, that's going to be heavy to bring back in the helicopter, but... Well, that's a lot of bugs. Yep, kind of what we were expecting. You go back there, all of you get to there. Go, 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 go. Um. No one's aggressive yet. Right. Hmm. Let's just take a step back. I don't understand that. And then let's shoot a few of them and see what happens. Actually, let's take a few more steps back. We've got a, a bit of a range advantage on these ones. Uh, yeah, Riza to the rear. Go for it. Shoot whatever's in range, ladies. Good job, Riza, taking up the ones coming up the rear. Oof. No! Leave the helicopter alone. That is bold. Very bold. You hit that. You hit that. You hit that. Ah! Okay. Okay. We're going to have to get a whole new helicopter. Quick, 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 get forward, get forward, get forward. That is really frustrating. How are we supposed to get out of here now? <sighs> this has proven to be rather frustrating. Right, you have no fuel. Health-wise, you are shattered. How do we repair you? I've launched over a bunch of fuel. Uh, I don't think that's going to help, though. I'm pretty sure the fuel tank is destroyed on that. But while we're here, we might as well do what we can. We might be stuck here forever and ever and ever, unless we do something about it. Uh, fuel, excellent. Load chem fuel to pack animals, pick up chem fuel. How do we actually get the... You know what? Pick up chem fuel all. We'll figure this out. Hey, we got the chem fuel loaded. Refuel from inventory. Needs more crew to operate. Okay, board Airwolf as pilot. Uh, excellent. Can we launch? Unable to... Ah, uh, damn it. This is a problem. Okay, so Riza can repair it. I just had to set him up to be allowed to repair. He's now able to repair it. It's going to take him a while. We should probably fire over someone who's better at it. But once he's repaired it, we can leave. In that case, you guys can continue upon your journey. And uh, no thank you. 
Well, great. More bugs. Fine. We'll kill a lot of you. Seriously? Why are they not aggressive? There we go. You need to shoot that one right there in the face. Uh, getting surrounded. Bit awkward considering we're ranged units. Hmm. Where to from here? Corner. Actually. What am I doing? We have jump jet packs. <laughs> That's probably the smart plan. Just jump. Okay, you guys jump over there. You can jump over there and you can jump over there. Perfect. Can we just hide around the corner? And blast them to bits. Wait, wait, wait. Where is that? What, what are you doing praying? Come back here and repair the airwolf. Ugh. Yeah, this thing is in bits. We're going to have to send a better repair person over. Well, we'll load up a drop pod. And keep an eye on that guy over there. Hey, Idra. Idris. Welcome to the party, pal. Uh, we would like you to repair this. Uh, Riza, you can stay over there for a second. We're going to get Idris to repair. Why can't you repair? Prioritize repairing. Excellent. You have a much higher build scale. Oh, it's going to take a while, isn't it? You can't have multiple people repairing it either. Well, that is fine. The rest of the team are just going to clear out what's left of this place. I may have accidentally set off some unstable fuel cells, but who hasn't done that? Well, I think the fuel tank is leaking. I can tell because the fuel is just, just pouring right the hell out of it. No! Don't put more fuel in it! Repair it, you frickin' moron! Ah... <sighs> Until the chem tank is repaired, I don't think we can do anything. Repairing Airwolf. Well, no. Yeah, great. Thanks for wasting all the chem fuel. At least we have 13 left in... Oh. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just have to... We've got 13 chem fuel left. We just got to make sure this guy manages to repair it back up to 100% before we start putting any more chem fuel. God damn Muppets. All right. The chem tank has gone to 90%. And it's turned a nice color. I think that means we're going to stop leaking. If it doesn't fix the leaking, well, that's okay. We're going to send over all of the chem fuel. We have 120 chem fuel. We're going to load this sucker up and we're going to fly home one way or the other. Go, go, go. Uh, one person will be unable to make it. Prioritize repairing, please. Uh, we will expand that zone. Idris, you're probably going to have to walk. Sorry, buddy. We'll send some people back out after you the moment it's fixed. Oh, perfect. Oh. Right. Actually. Yeah, you can board. I think we'll have Willy walk home. Or wait. No, 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 no. Draco. Draco, I think you can walk home. reason Draco can walk home is they have the nuclear stomach. We can leave them out here for a bit and should be able to defend themselves. All right. Is that fueled? Uh, we have 120 chem fuel on board. You guys get on board. Draco, start walking towards the edge of the map. Uh, actually, you don't really need to, to be honest. But we'll do that anyway. The rest of this place can burn to the ground. Uh, actually, Draco, you can stay here for now. And I think about it, we'll just leave you there. You're... Basically, just stand there like a zombie. It'll be fine. Then we hit the refuel from inventory, and we've loaded up the 120 fuel. Then we launch. Let's go back home. Uh, oh, can we land? Yes, we can land in here, but we're not going to. Namely, because we've got to return immediately. You'll be back, and Draco will be waiting. As far as I can tell, we're repaired to 100%, so there shouldn't be any problems. Let's hope nothing else shows up while he's waiting. Willie is going straight back out to pick him up. Um, yeah, we're not hanging around here. Also, we're going to try and land him through the ceiling. I don't know how well that's going to work. 
But perhaps Draco should get out of there just in case. Uh, just thinking if he's coming through the ceiling, it might cause a mess. Once they're landed, we load up, we take out of here again. Okay, you're going to go through the roof. You're going to go through the roof. Is that acceptable? Well, that seems kind of weird. I don't think we should be allowed to do that somehow. You guys, board the airwolf. Perfect. Unable to launch. Conditions are not suitable. Oh my god. It's because the roof's in the way. I'm an idiot. So, what we have learned. Helicopters, maybe park them a little bit further away for safety reasons. Uh, also, they can't... Oh, can you guys take off? Yes, you can. Jason, hop on board. They're great for these little jaunt missions, but you gotta be much more careful than me. I was way too sloppy, and that almost ended in tragedy. Oh my god. That was horrifying. I thought everyone was going to be stuck out there. Right, note to self. Maybe be a little bit more careful with the helicopters. Or very, very careful. Bye-bye, horrific tile. Bye-bye. When it comes to mods, you got to give it to the guys. They do some wonderful work. But the thing is, the people who make the game have to do things a lot more, well, in line. Mods are really for people who are willing to play by the rules. Because if you use mods and you don't play by the rules, you can do dumb stuff like... Well, loading up your character Rizza here with an absolute butt-ton of slake chunks when you're on the last map. So when you stick them in the helicopter, the helicopter doesn't care. The helicopter does not care about the waste inside the pawns. But if you use the transport pod, it does. One built into the game. That's why Rizza here was able to take back, well, a lot of slate chunks. We're not going to be worrying about slate for a long time. This is going to be our rock source for the foreseeable future, I think. There's about 500 pieces in here. This, this is going to take a while and a lot of clicking. I think that will keep us in slate for a reasonable amount of your future. I mean, we probably could have held that for marble, but uh, I was in a rush. All right, now that we've got all of the basics done, I think it's time we went for the hardcore endgame stuff. What I want to do is get to the point where we just have a stupidly overpowered force that can slaughter the void. I don't know if we can achieve slaughterage, but uh, I think it's quite possible with the stupidly broken stuff we've got available to us. Due to our inability to wear rings on the zombies, this has sort of complicated our plan a little bit. So, uh, the new plan is maximum mercantilism. Uh, we are going to fly to all of the shops, and we're going to see if they've got access to the psychasts we want. Uh, squads off, that will be three places they'll have to visit. They can fly all the way down here, then here, then back to there. Every single one of them have refreshed. I think they restocked because we did that, oh, thing that allowed us to fast forward time a bit. I think that knocked 15 days off of their restock timers. That's kind of useful if a little bit broken as well, but eh, we got planes, so we'll be fine. All right, let's see what you've got on offer. Good shopping. Couple of a psychic suit pulsers, some insanity lances, a gene pack, but none of the trainers we were looking for. Oh, uh, I should probably grab some fuel while we're here. Yeah, we'll grab 50 fuel, then we can refuel on the way out, and then we can immediately launch off again. How could we attack this place with a plane? Is that actually possible? That might be an interesting thing to try later on, but not now. Not now. All shopping, all day. This place actually has word of productivity. That is... That would be perfect. That gets us straight into the Archon side tree, which will get us close to drain side... Yes, 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 we will take those. And now we come up on the final and most stupidly ridiculous part of the plan. Draco here has only access to one tree, Warlord, but that's fine. What we're going to do is use this sidecast to learn word of productivity. Uh, this opens up the Archon tree, which is great because we can dump two points in here. I think we'll do... Uh, do we want Group Blink? You know, what, Word of Alliance and... Oh, Mind Break. And the final one is Drain Psy Essence. Very important skill that allows them to rip the Psy levels out of someone. However, who are we going to rip the Psy levels out? Well, okay, I'm glad rhetorical question you asked. What we're first going to do is we're going to give a Death Shield to Zoe. Zoe is our psychically hypersensitive pawn that we really, really like for Psy stuff. And now they cannot die. Well, today anyway. For the next 24 hours, they're immune to death. That's okay. Draco, would you drain the essence out of them? And... Oh, target must be downed. I forgot about that. Hmm. A quick anesthetization should sort that out. Once they are anesthetized, we can then do a drain essence on them. That shield doesn't stop you from getting sedated. And... Boom. Well, we drained all the psi levels out of them. Draco now has three extra points to spend and is a level 12 Psycaster. Which is... okay, whatever. Not amazing, but it does give them three extra points. However, why are we doing that? Well, 
Let's just uh, skip forward time a bit until Zoe has recovered from this anesthetic and I'll show you. While Zoe is sleeping off that anesthetic, we're just going to do a quick little dance party for everyone. Those dance parties are pretty handy. You don't even need a leader, so long as you've got... That. I can't believe I haven't done this before. This is perfect. Unforgettable. Extant. Did that? Yep. We got ourselves another ancient complex right next door. We're still going to fly over in the helicopter, though, even though it's stupidly risky. So back to Zoe there, the one who we ripped the Psy powers out of. We're immediately going to give her her Psy powers back, or give her Psy power level 1 back, by linking her up to the Adama tree, which we have 56 grass in storage. Haven't been using that for this very reason. Now, once she is done... Well, Zoe, excellent. You are a level 1 Psy caster. But she has plenty of neural heat available because, remember, we've been feeding her corpses. She's up to 79 consumed bodies, so she's, she's pretty good on that front. And her psychast tree is all locked up again. However, if we uh, draft her up, you see, she's still got consumed bodies. Consumed bodies was the psychast tree, and all the psychasts she learned before are still there. Well, she's only learned one, which is not great. But also, all of these are still there. So, natural focus, morbid, minimal, flame, all of the focus types, they're all unlocked. Even though she basically lost all her psi, lost all her psi levels, she kept all the psi power she learned and all of the focus types. It does not keep upgrades though. Your psi cast, if you upgrade, if you spend your points on upgrades, they they don't carry over. And I, did I spend all her points before I did this? God, I probably didn't. I'm an idiot. But what this means is, let's just say we took Draco here. They have three points to spend. We could then spend those points unlocking combat skills or whatever we want. Then we could get Zoe to Psycast drain them, which would immediately put Zoe up to level 12. She could then spend those 12 points on spells. Then she could immediately get drained back by Draco, who would then have 12 points to spend on whatever he wanted to. And as they go back and forth draining each other, they keep unlocking new parts of the tree, and new spells, new abilities, and new focus types if they want. It's totally, totally broken. The only thing that slowed us down was we couldn't put rings on Draco and Willy and the, the, um, the zombie thralls. We couldn't do that because of the suits we had them in. If we could have, we could have just stuck the rings on them and not worried about it. We had to go shopping for those uh, word of productivity ones. We needed that to open up this tree because, well, they only had, what, three spaces to grab them? This also means I'm probably going to be a little bit cautious with Catgirl Diogenes and getting her into her Warlord skills. We're going to want to unlock the Archon skills first so that we can get her the ability to drain Psy Essence. We're going to turn Zoe into a massive, massive just... Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's show you what I mean. Zoe here is meditating and getting 226% Psy Focus a day. That's an awful lot. For example, Willy over here is only getting 50, Catgirl's only getting 50, and Draco I don't think is meditating at the tree anymore. He's doing it because there's multiple people around him. So he's only getting 70. So these three between them are getting 170%. Zoe is gaining more Psy Focus, or gaining more Psy Experience per day than the other three of them combined. However, she does still need to sleep. Maybe if we turned her into a zombie thrall. I mean, there's no real reason not to that I can think of. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, but maybe top up her shooting, top up her melee, then, you know, turn her into a thrall, and then she can just spend 24 hours a day in right here. In fact, she's, that might actually work out really well. I think we get a shooting trader, we get a melee trader. In fact, there is a melee one over here that I've been holding on to for ages. Uh, boom. Yeah, and we might turn them into a close combat melee person that we can use. Oh, this is going to be just so ridiculous after a while. Think about it. Once we get up to level 30, we just need to get one person up to level 30. We can start playing merry-go-round to swap it between all three of them or all four of them. And then someone will get basically 30 side path points to spend, which they can use to unlock, well, almost three trees of powers. And then once they've unlocked those th three trees, we drain them. Pass it to the next person who then gets to unlock it. And we're just limited by the amount of anima grass we're going to get in. That way we can have a bunch of casters who will have access to everything. And then finally, once they've unlocked all the traits, like literally every single skill, or actually, no, too, that'd be too many. Once they've unlocked enough traits that we're happy with it, then what we can do is just dump all the points into the Psy caster stats upgrade, which will reduce their cost for Psy focus cost and a bunch of other... Yeah, it should get ridiculously broken and out of hand, which is why we're going to have to, like, crank up the difficulty. But I think this is... The only way we're going to be able to take on the Void in a one-on-one -on -one fight. We're not going to take on the Void in some sort of sneaky, backhanded way or something like that. No, no, no. 
We're, we're going to face them straight up and shoot them dead. Just We're just going to take them on as they're not meant to be taken on. That's the plan. Anyway, I might do a little bit of work in the background just uh, shopping. We're going to have to hit up a lot of places to get sidecast stuff. But hey, I, I can do that all in the background. I, uh, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.